Hello everybody, welcome to not the Big Sean Bez channel. It was, it's not anymore. You may have noticed we've changed some things. So welcome to the life of Bez. This is the first video of life of Bez, the last video of Big Sean Bez. Big Sean Bez, we're leaving in 2022. It's ran its course. It was started, you know, back, way back. And now we're here in 2023, launching a new but with a very, very amazing outlook on what we've got for this next year. And what do we have for this next year? And what do we have for the channel? Well, the channel is going to change ever so slightly. And I mean ever so slightly. As in, the quality is going to be higher. The videos are going to be better. I'm going to be just loving life. Because I am. I've, I've really found a passion for this. And I've really found that this last year has just made me appreciate so many things in life and so many of you guys have really helped with that you're all absolute legends so i just want to take this first sort of minute of the video and say thank you thank you thank you to everybody that watches everybody that subscribes you know likes instagram posts twitter posts whatever thank you all so so much for that but yes the reason we've changed things is we're leaving big sean bears in the past big sean bears with, you know, the channel name, the design, everything else. It was made when I was just starting out, didn't have an identity, didn't quite know who I was or who I wanted to be. And, you know, as much as I loved it, I absolutely loved it, I just felt there was that little something missing. Just felt my channel kind of just needed freshening up. Like, I've changed as a person over the last year. I've, you know, lost a considerable amount of weight. I've found a lot more happiness in my life, you know. Things have just fell into place in a way that I never dreamed possible. And, you know, a lot of you guys have seriously helped with that. So, again, thank you. Um, because you're all awesome. And, yeah, so I just felt like, you know what? It was time to kind of just leave the big Sean name in the past. Kind of find it weird when people call me Sean nowadays anyway, even though it is my name. It's still weird. Um, you know... To everyone, I'm just Bez. It is what it is. And I think that's the best way to do things is we've freshened it up. We've made the channel kind of a bit more me and who I want to be and everything else. So, yeah, there we are. The channel is now a lot more personal to me. It feels fresher. It feels more exciting. It just, the you know, I'm just happy about I'm a lot happier about it. The channel's not going to change fundamentally too much. Because it was quite broad anyway, so I was kind of open to everything. But what we're actually going to do with it, and where we're going in the next year, let's break that down quickly. So obviously January, January is a slow month for most enthusiasts, and I'm off to Disneyland Paris again. <laughs> but um, I'm going the 8th of January for a few days, so I get to see the last day of Christmas at Disneyland Paris before they kind of turn over back to the 30th stuff. So we get to enjoy that, and I can't wait to share, you know, parades, shows, whatever I can with you. There'll be vlogs coming from that. Obviously, end of January, February, it'll be more football vlogs, and if I decide to, you know, I do end up going anywhere, but we are saving money for the big one in March. And the big one, two big ones in March, really. There's Blackpool opening weekend, which we will be at. It's mid-March. It's going to be amazing. I love Blackpool. I ended up buying a pass for this year because I spent way too much money last year. I went seven times last year and I didn't have a pass. Idiot. Stupid rookie move. But after the first two times, I was like, oh yeah, I maybe only go one more time. Goes the third time. Go a fourth time. And by then I'm like, shit, should have bought a pass. So I've invested in a pass for this year because I know it will get used. Because I can just be like, oh, I've got a Blackpool today because I've got a ticket sorted job done so yes opening weekend everyone should be there and everyone that is there will come and say hello have a good time feel free to come and say hello to me because i don't mind i'm happy you know be having a drink pop say hello we're going on a ride come along happy days happy days so yes opening weekend the big one for all the enthusiasts of course but then for me a couple of days after that is the biggest and most exciting trip and honestly like hairs on my arms stand still when i start talking about this 
I get just overwhelmed with how crazy this trip is. I'm off to Los Angeles and Anaheim for two weeks. Two weeks. Oh my God. I've been waiting for this for about three years now. And just being healthy and happy and being able to do this is just crazy. Like, I'm so happy to be doing it. I'm going to Disneyland for the first time in America. Um, the original Disneyland, the park that Walt has literally walked in. And like, obviously I'm doing a film course and stuff at the minute. So a lot of my research is on Walt and everything else. And that's going to be an emotional day. Walking through that park is going to be very emotional. So I'm looking forward to that one so, so much. But there's other things on top of that that I'm looking forward to even more. And I didn't think I'd ever say that. That there'd be something bigger than Disney. And it's WrestleMania. <laughs> We're going to WrestleMania at SoFi Stadium. Obviously all the other things around it. So let's just break down the two weeks. We've got five days of Disney. We're going to Knott's Berry Farm. We're going to watch my beloved Anaheim Ducks. The Mighty Ducks play at Honda Center. So that's, you know, that's just the first week. And then week two, we've got two days of Universal. We've got Friday Night Smackdown, the Hall of Fame, two days of WrestleMania, Monday Night Raw. You know, we're going to go and see, do some sightseeing, head down to Santa Monica, and see all the, the fun things that you see in Grand Theft Auto in LA. We're going to go and see how many of them we can spot. That should be a funny little piece. That should be a funny bit. Yeah, we're doing the lot. Two weeks, non-stop, no days off, chaos. And we're praying when we go to Universal, we're really, fingers crossed, that Nintendo World should be open because they keep saying early 2022, uh, 2023, sorry, and it's looking likely that that's going to be the case by the time mid-March rolls around that it'll be open. So if it is, hopefully I'm the first one there. If I'm not damn you whoever's first there but i'm gonna be there i'm gonna to get to see that hopefully fingers crossed no promises because i don't know exactly you know things get delayed and whatnot but if the timings are right and this trip falls into place perfectly nintendo world is on the list obviously um at disneyland they'll be opening mickey and minnie's runaway railway in january so that'll definitely be open obviously we get get to ride guardians which is going to be amazing, although I hated Tower of Terror in Paris. Guardians hopefully won't be as horrendous, because drop rides, not my thing at all. Really not. Oh, no. No, no, no. But in Credit Coaster, yes, definitely my thing. And obviously, first time seeing Galaxy's Edge and the American Avengers Campus, that stuff's going to be amazing. You know, SoFi Stadium, crazy mega multi-billion dollar stadium. And we're in luxury boxes, which is just nuts. <laughs> so there's going to be a vlog of the box and stuff like that. We've got extremely lucky with this trip. You know, some people would be like, oh, Bez, you've won the lottery, whatever. No, this has been this has been three years in the making. The trip has collapsed twice because a company folded halfway through. Another company's come in, rescued the trip, invested a lot of their own funds into it, which has made the wrestling part of it just even more epic you know so i'm very happy about that obviously going to disney and stuff it was always on the cards going to universal was always on the cards but then obviously three years ago we didn't know that nintendo was going to be open you know and now it's potentially very close obviously heading to Knott's Berry farm as well so doing things like ghost rider accelerator whatever whatever we can get on should be pretty pretty exciting so that 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 takes us to the end of march start of april and then obviously the merlin parks open so that's where i'm gonna leave this there i know i've waffled a little bit i know i've chatted but that is the plan for 2023 i just want to say and i should have said this a thousand times already and i'm gonna say it a thousand times now Thank you so, so much. Honestly, I mean that from the bottom of my heart to everyone that watches these videos, you know, everyone that watches OTT, whatever, everyone that knows me, 
you have made 2022 the most incredible year ever. All your support, kindness, everything. Anyone, you know, I've interacted with that's watched this on Twitter, Instagram, whoever you are, you've been the best and I freaking love you guys so, so much. You know, all my friends, the people that supported us, just, yeah, 2022 goes to you. Goes to you, my friends. Absolutely. Just want to put that out there. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you are new around here and this is the first time, you're kind of like, oh, who's this guy? And you really wanted to watch this video. I appreciate it if you've made it this far. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe. It means the world to me. Join the community. Join what's going to be one of the most fun places in 2023. 2023. <sighs> crazy, crazy, crazy. But yeah, we did it. We made it a year on YouTube. And we've uploaded pretty consistently. We've accomplished some stuff this year. You know, Disney Paris the first time. Energylandia a few times. You know, we've done some mad shit. We went to Plopsaland and Road Ride to Happiness. We've finally cracked Icon. It took us seven trips to Pleasure Beach, but we finally rode Icon. Crazy. You know, we lost nearly nine stone this year. We were 30 and a half stone in February this year. In February 2022, that is. We're coming in at December at 22 and a half stone. You know what I mean? That's eight stone. My maths. It's still a lot of weight. We've done class and then hopefully 2023 got another five five or, five or so stone to lose we're going to be feeling pretty good we're going to be feeling pretty good let's see where we are opening weekend but for me anyway from me bez we'll see you soon we'll see you at a park nearby thank you all so so much let's hit 2023 let's hit the ground running and let's make it an absolutely amazing year thank you all I love you all. We'll see you with the life of Bez in 2023. Bye-bye.